I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand roots of quadratic equations. In the following videos we will do some related questions. The question here is write a quadratic equation in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 with roots of p and q. Is it possible to write another quadratic equation with the same roots? Explain your answer. Now let us first understand the concept. Let's say this is our coordinate plane and we'll just sketch a parabola. Let's say that is the parabola, right? Okay. So what are the roots? When we say roots, that means x intercepts or the zeros, right? So for the time being, we'll consider roots as the x intercepts. Now when you say write a quadratic equation in the form of ax square plus bx plus c, that is standard form equals to 0 with roots at p and q. So that means x value is p or q. So these are the two roots for us, right? So on this coordinate plane, we'll say let this be y and this is x. So that is a sketch and this is, we have assumed both to be positive, but p and q could be any real number, right? Now, if p and q are the roots, in that case, what should be the equation? y should be x minus p times x minus q. Is that okay? If I write x as p, I get a 0, so we get y equals to 0, correct? So we could write like this. Similarly, if I write q here for x, then we have the second factor as 0. So this equation in the factored form ensures that the roots are at x equals to p or x equals to q, right? That is what it means. Now, the question really is to write it in standard form. So let us expand. So when you expand, you get x square minus x times q minus, you could write px, and plus pq. We can take x common. In that case, we get uh, minus, when you take minus outside, you can write this as q plus p times x times pq. Now it's better to write this as p plus q, okay. Plus p times q. So what you notice here is we go write this factored form as a standard form x square minus p plus qx plus pq. Now in this particular equation what we notice is that p plus q is sum of roots, right? And pq is product of roots. Correct? So basically the equation could be written as y equals to x squared minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots. Do you get the idea? So you could write like this, right? So any equation can be written in this form if you know values of p and q, right? So that is the general form of the equation. The second part is, is it possible to write another quadratic equation with the same roots? Let's think about it. Now, how about sketching this graph uh, like this? Even then, we have these two roots. And uh, how about like this? More stretched. Do you see that? Kind of like this. Do you see that? So there are many possibilities right we could go in for something uh, like this also which is compressed kind of right think it is a good graph on parabola right okay now these different stretches which you see here are because of the stretch factor which is a so we could have started the equation in the form of y equals to a times x minus p times x minus q now this a value 
gives a different forms, right? So you could multiply each number by a common term and get the equation. So there are many possible solutions as you can see here. So infinitely large. So many equations can be written for the same roots. That is very important to understand. Okay. Now here is a question for you based on what we have learned here. Uh, you need to write quadratic equation with roots at x equals to plus and minus 3, right? So you need to write a quadratic equation with roots at x equals to plus and minus 3, right? So that is your equation. Now, if I say that this quadratic equation, the parabola of this graph, passes through a point, then it becomes a specific equation, right? So we'll look into that aspect later but for the time being if I give you the roots of the equation then you should be in a position to easily write the quadratic equation using standard form as x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots or in factored form like we have shown you earlier. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.